Hello, I'm Dean Martin with Transmission Digest. Welcome to the Transstar Industry Studios here at Babcock's Media. Today we're going to discuss the Mazda FW6AEL 6B front wheel drive automatic transmission, specifically the one-way clutch. I use the term one-way clutch because there are various types of one-way clutches that we're going to discuss. Uh, in 2012, Mazda released what they call their Skyactiv program, which addresses their engine as well as transmission uh, for fuel economy purposes. In the past, Mazda has always purchased transmissions from companies like JATCO or ISIN. The FW6AEL, as part of their Skyactiv program, is produced by Mazda themselves. Uh, as with any new transmission, you can have issues, and the one-way clutch happened to be one of the problems that Mazda had early on. Uh, transmissions uh, from the beginning have always had a one-way clutch, and initially the one-way clutch used was what we called a Sprague clutch, and a Sprague clutch had elements that we call wedges. This uh, element would fit in between an inner and outer race, and depending on the, the uh, direction of the race, these wedges would tip one way to allow a freewheel or tip the other way to provide a lockup. And that's where you get freewheel and lockup from a uh, Sprague unit. Sprague clutches were fairly expensive, cumbersome to produce, and so Along the line, they uh, developed what we call a roller clutch. And these are merely rollers that are uh, next to an accordion spring. And instead of having a smooth in and out of race, they have a cam that's notched as well as a smooth race. And the uh, roller would go up and down the ramp to create a lockup condition or freewheel. Uh, so they've used this for, for many years as well. When you're ordering or addressing a one-way clutch, if it is a Sprague clutch, call it that. If it's a roller clutch, call it a roller clutch. There are certain transmissions that can actually use both uh, depending on year. So if you want the right part, order the right part. Some time ago, another one-way clutch was released which is the subject of this video, and it's called a mechanical diode. Uh, people in the electrical business know that a diode is a one-way check valve, and that's why they call this a mechanical diode, which is a registered trademark. We also refer to this as a ratchet clutch because as you're driving down the road, this is what it sounds like. This is the type of one-way clutch that Mazda uses in the FW6AEL. And um, the reason you don't hear the noise is in the transmission is surrounded by fluid, so you don't hear that ratcheting sound driving down the road 40 miles an hour. There are actually a couple of different types of mechanical diode. And one is an axial type to where you can see there are slippers in here and these slippers go into ramps or cutaways in the outer cam and when it goes to lock up unlike a roller clutch or a sprague only one element hooks up at a time this is a radial type or axial type. The radial type actually has little keepers that are held in place again by real uh, weak springs and these look like uh, pump veins actually and the same thing they will engage with cutaway uh, notches in the outer portion of the unit. This is the type of one-way clutch 
that the FW6A uses. Uh, in conjunction with the one-way clutch, this also acts as a backing plate for the low reverse brake. If you get a Mazda N uh, 2012 up and it doesn't have a first gear takeoff, chances are this one-way clutch is bad and uh, you can plan on replacing it. Uh, fortunately, you don't have to tear the whole transmission apart to get to this. You can pull the end cover and a couple of components out, get to this fairly easily. So if you want to do a partial repair if it's low miles, or if you're rebuilding the transmission, even if this is good at the time, uh, it would be advisable to replace this just so that you don't have the problem down the road. So uh, when you're doing these, always address this to make sure uh, that the unit is uh, gonna live other than that, the FW6AEL has uh, worked fairly well. Uh, you can check with your Transtar sales representative for product availability uh, when you're doing these, and um, uh, they should be able to fix you up. I'm Mike Riley. Thank you for watching. See you next time.